What's up, guys? Uh, John here. Got a question from the YouTubes uh, for newer arm wrestler. Uh, he wants to know how to prevent an arm break, uh, and is there anything special that we do as arm wrestlers to prevent it? Um, all I can do is speak from my experience in the sport, which is really just conditioning uh, through tournaments, through training. Uh, we condition our bodies to be able to absorb the stress of that that twisting motion in our upper arm. And uh, your body will adapt to the stresses that you put it through. So if your arm is constantly being stressed, constantly being stressed, consistently being stressed, it will adapt and it will make it stronger, however it has to, to prevent injury. Um, but I'll, I'll go on a little further. Uh, things you can do is to be patient and to pull in good positioning and not always watch all of us open class guys and uh and elite guys you know we don't always practice the best uh motor patterns and movements because our opponents are usually very close to our strength and they put us in bad positions but we're conditioned to be in those bad positions it's not what we want but it's what we have to do sometimes and our bodies can withstand it because we have trained it to do so not something that new arm wrestlers should do not yet and it takes time that's the biggest thing about this whole sport in general we get a lot of questions arm wrestlers get questions every day i'm sure i'm no different or people are no different than me they get a lot of questions about how do i get better at something really quick you don't you're not going to get better at this fast um it takes a lot of time it takes a lot of time to develop the connective tissues the bone structure um the movement patterns, the second nature of what we're doing, it takes a lot of time, a lot of patience, and it takes a lot of self-control. And that's something I see a lot of uh, newer arm wrestlers fail at, is when you're um, you're trying to stay in a good position, you're trying to teach somebody something that they kind of, they hurry the motion so much that they put themselves out of position when they have the phys physical ability to keep in a good position. So I would say for sure, take it real slow, stay in great position, and pull hard and pull until you're burned up because really you're going to hurt yourself when you're fresh because your ability to output at its at your highest level is when you're fresh so you know two hours into a practice you're probably not strong enough to hurt yourself so spend those first moments in practice really staying super tight staying in a really good position if you start to get out of position um you know work with more senior arm wrestlers in your club uh, you know, training partners are important for that kind of thing. And good training partners are important. And I know not everybody has that, but, you know, everybody has the ability to try to find some. Um, and maybe things you could do as a more senior arm wrestler for newer guys. Uh, there are certain things I won't do for newer guys. I will not take a newer person who's fresh and push at them. I think it puts way too much stress this way into the arm, and really that's where it's tough, right? Our arms are not supposed to move that way. Um, so I will not push into somebody, and I won't go straight sideways like into the peg. I won't do that with a newer guy. What I will do is I'll attack their wrists, I will attack their bicep, and if they get in any funky positions where it looks weird, I will just, I'm not gonna keep pulling. I don't want to teach somebody bad movement patterns and I don't want to hurt anybody. So I will try to open what's supposed to open. And that's really the key is that your arms really not supposed to go this way, but it will go this way, you know, without much trouble. So I will usually hook through, open up the bicep, top roll through, open up the wrist. So these are the motions the guy is getting, right? This or this things that are supposed to open really teaching them to try to contain and hold down through the back through the bicep and then later on through practice is when i'll start pushing a little bit further into their side pressure because they've been worn down they're they're warmed up um, and they're not as strong as they were so they're probably not going to get hurt and also something to be uh, mindful of is a really strong new guy uh, those are the guys who worry me the most. Guys who come in the sport, they're very powerful already. Those are the guys who I always see get hurt. Uh, a weaker guy, like you know, when I first started, I had very little power. 
I wasn't going to get hurt. I wasn't strong enough to hurt myself. Um, so, you know, as far as, you know, preventing broken arms, conditioning, patience, good, you know, good practices. And, uh, I'm not really sure if there's anything else. Oh, maybe, you know, eating, Re- make sure you're getting enough calories so that your body's repairing the damage you're putting it through. Uh, the sport is very stressful on the body and there's only one way to heal it. And that's through cal- uh, caloric intake. Uh, Everybody has a different opinion on what a, the best diet is, but no matter what, you should be getting enough calories. I think everybody can kind of uh, agree on that. And um, you know, make sure that you're getting the proper rest. Make sure, even though I'm not really a big proponent of rest, but make sure you're getting the proper recovery, I should say, uh, whether it's sleep, um, nutrients, um, you know, just general practices. Make sure your immune system's good. You know, because your body's going to be fighting to make sure that it rebuilds and repairs. But other than that, I mean, just, you know, take it slow, have fun. And before you know it, that, you know, that grace period of a year or two that we usually tend to give new arm wrestlers, it'll be up before you know it. You know, so hope that answers your question. Uh, you know, have fun, be safe, and uh, keep pulling.